Uh, totality here will be just under three minutes and then the moon in its orbit will start to go past the face of the sun and we'll see sliver of light that gets ever increasingly larger. Total solar eclipses happen every year or two but can only occur when there is a new moon. So if they happen yearly, why don't we see more? The answer, our planet is 70% water, so most eclipses occur over open oceans. David Neighbors has experienced multiple eclipses. Anything that you would expect to see at dusk can, can happen. I mean, insects can start chirping, birds can start uh, roosting, uh, the temperature can become noticeably cooler. Not only will we see a change in temperature, once in totality, the sun will have a completely different look. If you look at the edge of the sun, uh, or the edge of where the moon is covering up the sun, you can see prominences which look like flames uh, leaping off the sun. According to NASA, a solar eclipse is the result of a cosmic coincidence. Even though the sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon, it's also 400 times farther away. This makes the sun and the moon appear almost exactly the same size in our sky. On October 14th, we will experience an annular eclipse. Robert said due to the moon's orbit, the annular eclipse is connected to the total solar eclipse we will experience in April. Be a annular eclipse, okay? And this is when the moon is at its furthest point in this, this, uh, this slightly elliptical um, uh, orbit. David Neighbor said this is something that you will not want to miss, but he did stress to make sure that you view the eclipse safely. April 8th of 2024. Uh, that's, people that have experienced a total solar eclipse will always remember that. It will be very dark. Approved glasses, solar eclipse glasses made for this purpose. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.